how to connect Google Calendar to an attend. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect Google Calendar with an attend. So whether you are a business owner, freelancer or part of team and wants to create automation for event management and reminders, so you have to connect Google Calendar with an attend. So before we dive in, so you will need some of the things. First is an agent account. Whether you are using cloud version or the self hosted version, this uh, method will work in each, both of them. And then you should have a Google Calendar, which is this one. And in the last, Google Cloud Console. This is where you will set up the API and auth credential to enable the connection. So yeah, if you may want to if you are using into your self-hosted annotant, so you need to set up that. So first, let's uh, connect Google Calendar for cloud version. First thing first, what you have to do is open your annotant workspace and search for calendar. And from here, you have to set select the trigger like on event cancellation or event created, whatever you want to. For this tutorial, I will click for event cap event creation so from the top you have to create connect the credential so click on this create new credential and after clicking on that you will get the sign in with the google option just simply click on it and from here you get the option of this and just simply give, give all the information related to google calendar and hit the continue wait for a few seconds as you can see here we have successfully connected to an attend. Now, if you are using the self-hosted version, so what you need to do is just simply click on this create. So what you have to do is create a Google Cloud Console API and OAuth credential. So how you can do that? First, what you have to do is just search for Google Cloud Console and hit enter. Before, before we start, first I will start my self-hosted annotant so you get you can follow up with, along with my, with us. So this is my self-hosted annotant and this is the cloud version. Uh, let's create credential for the hosted version. Click on this plus icon and click on this create credential. Now from here you have to search for Google Calendar both to API and click on the continue. Now, as you can see here, there is a URL, both redirect URL. So you just copy this and go to Google Cloud or Google Cloud platform. So choose whatever you like. Now, wait for a few seconds. In the top, you will get this terminal option. Now, okay, the active cloud shell. But what I'm going to do is click on this uh, option, open project picker. From here, you will get a lot of projects. I have already created four projects. If you are a beginner, you will get to see nothing over here. Now, just simply click on this new project to create new oath. Click on it. And then you have to give my project name or you can just simply change the project. Calendar Connector. So I have only eight projects remain in my quota. So click on this connect create button. So wait for a few seconds now. If you go into, as you can see here, we have successfully created our calendar connector project and select that project. Now we are viewing at calendar connector, which we have created just now. So first thing what you have to do is click on these three lines. From there, what you have to do is go to API and services. Under the API services, click on this library option. So from here, you can get the access of a lot of APIs and services of Google. Now, here you have to search for Google Calendar and hit enter. Now, as you can see here, you get two options. You have to choose this one, which is Google Calendar, Google Enterprise API. Click on this. And now from here, you have to enable the API. 
after the connecting or enabling the API, what you have to do is just simply click on these three lines again and go to credential or auth screen. First, let's move to credential and let's see uh, what we can get from here. So from here, you have to create credential. Remember to configure the auth consent screen with the information about your application. So before, first we will create a credential. So let's create auth client ID. Now what you have to do is first uh, to create auth client ID, you must first configure your consent screen. So configure consent screen first. Click on the get started or you can access from here as well if you're not found you can get auth consent screen from api service section now click on the get started now over here you have to enter your app information like app name audience content information and finishing now what you have to do is first is uh what i will do is calendar connect then use uh, add a supporter email i will uh, suggest you to enter your email now over here you have to choose your audience this is the internal and this is the external uh, if you choose internal so the only available to user within your organization you will not need to submit your app for verification only available to your user within your organization but if you choose external from external will be available to any test user with your google account so your app will be start in testing mode and will only available to your user to add to the list of the test user so choose this one so you can read all of these by before you selecting click on the next and then you have to enter contact information so i will suggest you to enter uh, your email address again and Hit the enter next and click on this agree to the finish to google api services and hit the continue and click on this create button it will process and in in seconds our auth configure creation has been created now we have you haven't configured any auth client for this project so just simply click on this create auth client now from here you have to choose the application type which will be web application now just change the name of your web application uh, with calendar and attend and then over here if you scroll down a little bit from here you can you have to add a url which one did, which is this one so auth redirect url so just you have to copy and paste it over here this is the important part you have to add this link into authorized redirect url so so for use with a request from a web server so just simply click on this create button and now as you can see here starting in june 2025 you will no longer be able to view or download the client secret on your close this dialog okay this is the not so what you have to do is just copy the client secret from here and go back to your anaten and paste it into client secret section get back hit the ok and wait for a few seconds now we have created auth 2.0 client id so click on that and from here you have you will get client secret id and as well as client id as well so what you have to do is just simply copy this id and paste into your client id now you get the sign in with the google account in your hosted uh, anaten so you cannot if you are host, if you are using the hosted version of anaten in your computer you don't get the sign in button of google so you have to use this method to connect your google calendar with your anaten so before that uh, before we connect that so what you have to do is just go to your audience and click on this publish app so your app will be available to any user with the google account click on the confirm so it will be available so as you can see here our app is uh, published once you set up status in production okay so our app is in progress so yeah we have set up everything which we needed first you have to enable make sure you have enabled the api keys 
just go enable API services as you can see here our services are enabled go to library and see okay go to vote and consent screen check before you connect but sometimes it gives you error so make sure that you have a good connection recheck again and after the checking what you have to do is just simply sign in with the google click on the google so as you can see in the left side we have successfully uh, added our credential now what you have to do just choose the account and now it will show something like this now what you have to do in order to that just simply click on this advanced and click on this go to calendar unsafe now from here you have to select all and click on this continue button and as you can see here, we have successfully connected our uh, Google Calendar with hosted Anagen. So yeah, this is how you can uh, connect your Google Calendar account with Anagen. If you found this video helpful, then subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching. If you want more tutorial on how to make your workflow efficiently, just comment it down and I will try to make out that video. Thanks for watching.